Okay, so uh, somebody was asking me after the geranium has rooted in the pot, uh, when I've taken a cutting last winter, for example, this geranium I love, and I propagated it, and you can see there's one, two, three, four, I think there's five plants in here that I've been growing on since it propagated. And the first thing I do when I'm about to um, transplant it, I'm transplanting it in this pot here. And, um, or I'm transplanting some of these in this pot here, but they've all become quite leggy. What I mean by that is, you can see they've shot up. And what I wanna do is, what I'll probably do is chop them and I'll probably put two or three in here so that it'll fill out. So yes, they're flowering. Yes, they look beautiful, but I wanna make them lovely, fleshy, fleshy sounds the wrong word. I want to make them, you know, bulk out. That's the word I'm looking for. I want to make them bulk out. At the moment, they're looking a bit hungry, so I'll have to feed them, which putting them in fresh soil will do. Uh, you can see from the leaves, they're kind of hungry with the yellowing and fading. They did have, uh, they were um, eaten a little bit in the vine house by insects, but once I brought them outside and hard them out, the birds and other insects plucked and cleaned them. So they're a really lovely flower. So I'm gonna transplant three of these into this pot here and allow them to grow on as well as I'll trim them back. You can see here, that's a stem there. So I will probably chop that one there. And I could even put this into the propagator, the bit I chop, chop out, not the propagator, just pro um, reproduce. Maybe I'll show you how to do that as well with this geranium, because I'll be cutting them out to make them more bushy. You can see here's growth here. This is what I want, is the branches so uh, to multiply lower down to make the plant bushier. So that's what I'm gonna do with this right now. So I've emptied it in here and I'm gonna break these apart, break the soil apart. The soil is dry at the moment because I didn't water it, but it should be okay breaking the, this apart. So that's one. There we go. Oh, and where's my bucket of water? Here's my bucket of water. I have a bucket of water. These, I was weeding yesterday. Beautiful oxide daisy. And these are some, um, oh, scabias. So I cut their leaves all back and I'm hoping they'll take. So I'm gonna plant them somewhere else. Anyway, this is my soaking water. So I'll just put that in there. So I'm gonna soak this in there. Each one as I separate it out, I'm gonna give it a good dose of water just because they're gonna be thirsty. This whole process is thirsty work. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's one. And soak it. And then here's another. And soak it. So they're gonna have lots of lovely water. Anyway, I'm gonna keep doing this. You can see these last two are the biggest ones. And I will end up, um, I think I'm gonna propagate again from these, and create more. See, there's another one. Put it in there, soak it. And another one, and soak it. So those are all having a lovely soak while I, oh, they're sitting in the pot. <laughs> yeah, I'm really good at this. What can I say? This is their old compost and there's no diseases or anything in it. So I'm just going to mix it in with the fresh stuff. Um, so there we go. Now I have a whole series of empty pots here so I can use this even though it's a different color. See, that's a brown one and that's a blue one. I can uh, have divide these into three plants, six plants, um, three into each of these pots, and I'm going to cut them back. They're going to, it's going to look brutal 
but I'm hopefully going to propagate more of these on um, from the cuttings I take. Okay, so these are the big pots and they're soaking in uh, the water trough that I soak my new pots in. And where are my scissors? Here are my scissors. So we'll take, for example, this geranium here. You can see it's very long. It's got a big, good root. So I'm going to plant it in here. There we go. It's going to have a good soak in there. But I want it to bulk out. So I'm going to chop right there. Take that off and I'm going to take off the blooms and a vast majority of the leaves. Geraniums are one of the easiest to um, propagate. Okay, so that is a cutting and I'm planting it in a pot. I'll lift the video up and show you in a minute. Planting it on the edge there. Now, this, I'm chopping the blooms off of this one because I want it to um, concentrate on producing more uh, leaves. There we go. And take that out and that out. So I'm, the sad leaves I'm removing and it will now, it's looking very scant. So I'll put another one in. This one here. I'll plant here. There we go. Now, again, removing leaves and blooms so that it'll concentrate on producing more leaves and more stems, establishing more stems. So I think I'm gonna cut this one. I'll cut this one right here. And remove the leaves and any of the buds. And then stick it in here and hopefully Inca, do you really, oh, Inca, just stepping all over other seedlings that I have over here. Oh, okay, there, I made a path for her. Okay, so this, we now have two in here. Oh, it looks like I only have five, so I only have five of these, so I'll put two in this one. Actually, no, maybe I'll put, I've got to get more soil. Oh, there we go. So put more soil in here. And here's a really long one. There's a really long one. So I'm going to dig down in there. Put that in there. Now, where did I put my scissors? I'm not very good at keeping track of my tools at the moment, is all I can say. So I'm going to take that out there. And then... Take these all off and the blooms and leaving just a few small leaves. Then I, whoops, I've got to cut that. You have to cut it. It's really important, not in the middle of the stem. That's where I cut it off of these plants. But when you see the knobby bit right there, that's where the most nutrients are. So stick that in there and you're more likely to get a, uh, the development of, a, of roots when you give it the best place for it to So, So this is all from cuttings. So this is why I'm, I want them to bushy up. They haven't been at some posh nursery where they have people who look after all these things. 
It's just me who's farming and doing all these other things as well. Tour groups, writing, etc. So that's a third one. And now this one is, sorry, this is the third one. There we go. So their bottoms are getting wet uh, from the bottom and I'll water them from the top as well. Now, this last one, it really is such a beautiful flower. I love this particular geranium. It's really lovely, kind of the whites and the pink is really lovely. Okay, so this one has already branched, but I'm gonna chop it there and get rid of all of its big leaves and its flower. And there, that is gonna go in there. Now you can use rooting powder. Um, I sometimes do, but geraniums are so easy or I find geranium so easy. Maybe I should qualify that. I find geranium so easy that I feel they don't need the rooting powder. Okay, so that is two and three, and I'm gonna give them some water from above. And here you can see, these are the cuttings I took. One, two, three, four. I could potentially take these down some more, but I want, I might later on. So this is how uh, they are at the moment. Anyway, my enthusiastic assistant, her tail bashing my babies. These are my baby um, pineapple lilies and Inca was walking all across that one. So this cutting uh, is doing really well. I transplanted them recently, but this is, I thought I was gonna have more cuttings. So that was there, but I can leave that there soaking and it can establish something else. So these I now take out and put somewhere and hopefully they'll bushy up and I can take them out of these. Once they bushy up, I could take them out and transplant them into another pot so that they're on their own. But you can see they were not feeling very well by that yellowing. But now I've given them more healthy soil and more space to grow. So they should start flying it. At least I hope they will put it that way. Anyway, this is my propagation plot of trees, cuttings, plants. Mind you, the cuttings, this will now go into a warm but not direct light location. I'll actually take you to where I'm gonna put it. Oh, I've gotta stand up. I'm kneeling on the floor. I'm gonna lose these if I don't pick them up. Put them on the table. Okay, so these, this is, oh, doing fantastic. That's from another cutting. Okay, so I'm gonna take these and I'm bringing them into the vine house. And if I go all the way to this far end of the vine house, you can see I'm trying to do cuttings here, water root cuttings. And I put these here so they don't get any direct sunlight, but they're gonna be lovely and warm. So here you can see I've been planting tomatoes into my tanks. And this is, this is a, one of the ones I was given, this is a rare tomato or a heritage type called John Bear. So I'm looking forward to this. I was given these on condition that I seed save them, which I'm going to do. These are, I misplaced the label. These are either Tigerella or Marmaduke. Uh, I'm not quite sure. So I've got one, two, three more bins to plant on. These are not feeling very good. These are some, uh, these are, these are some bush ones. I've got to put, I'm putting them in pots. And, oh, these ones over here. Excuse me. Can you reverse, reverse, go on, reverse, reverse. 
reverse. <laughs> you're 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 ruining my plants on either side. These are lovely little. <laughs> I really do have garden help. These I've got to pop these on. These are little bush um, cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to put these in individual pots. They need potting on. And look, my cucumbers and zucchinis are doing very well. So that's what I've been doing. My calendula, there's some calendula there. And here, these calendulas are doing really well. And look, even a tomato plant is growing in amongst these calendula. It knows its friend. <laughs> Who says plants are stupid when a tomato grows amongst calendula and knows it's a friend? And look, my little vine has foxglove is flowering. I've got to keep watering it. It's such a clever little plant. Anyway, no, 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 look, can you back or turn? Thank you. There we go. And this is doing magnificently well. Isn't it just glorious? So is this, but it likes hardening. I've got to bring it in and out. So I actually should bring it out. Uh, anyway, busy, 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 busy. Doing everything with the lovely smell of wisteria hanging about me. I do love my vine house door.